Hey guys, it's Mr. Jack's The Legend here. Today I'm here with another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Now in this week's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a secret, well super secret, redstone dot door. Now you might be wondering, Jax, what is a super secret redstone dot door? Well, let me show you. So, in the new 1.16 update, when you have a redstone dust, you place it down like this and it's in a cross form. However, when you click on it, it turns into a dot. Now, we're going to be utilizing the difference here. The dot will, will not power the blocks next to it. So, if I grab out a piston here, as you can see, if I place the piston next to it all around like this, and then I power that dot by grabbing a lever and going underneath, underneath it, you can see the pistons do not get powered. But then when I turn it into a cross by right clicking it, they get powered. So we're going to be utilizing that. So what I've done here is I've made it so that there's a few decorative redstone dots here. They could like look like a little showpiece. They're all powered on, so there's no clues. But when you click on this one right here, my door opens. Now, the way this works is that when the dot is like this, it's not powering a redstone torch, so this redstone torch is extending the pistons and the pistons are actually keeping the door shut. But when I change it into a cross, it makes it a redstone torch, it makes the redstone torch a dead redstone torch, so there's no power and the pistons retract. Now, this door right here, this door that I've made here, is called a Jeb door. This will only work in um, the Minecraft Java edition. However, you can hook this component here up, right there, the um, redstone dot and the redstone torch with the redstone there up to any door so if you're on better condition you might hook it up to one of my 3x3 spiral doors the link for that will be in the description down below or if even if you're in java you might hook it up to a different door maybe even a 4x4 piston door the link for that will also be in the description down below anyway so the materials you'll need to make this um, amazing door appear in your will appear in your screen now now there aren't too many materials, pretty simple, but the trickiest materials to get here are probably the sticky pistons, but even then, they're not too hard. Alrighty, let's get on to the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is choose where you want your door. It'd be best along um, a sort of built wall like this, it wouldn't look very good, um, it wouldn't be super hidden along a natural wall because you're going to have redstone pieces on the ground in front of it. Then you want to place redstone pieces in front of it, leaving one in a corner like this and on an edge. Make sure it's on the edge like that. Then do it, say, every second block. Just make it look artistic. But make sure they aren't connecting. Then turn them all into dots. Now, now we want to place our door in, but we can't place our door anywhere. We need to make sure our block is at least three... Our door is at least three blocks away from here. So we have one, two, three, and then our door there. So three blocks. Three block gap in between it. That's the minimum. The maximum is however long you want. Ideally, I'd keep it in the wall. I wouldn't have a lever here and then all the way over in another area have the door. That'd be a bit odd. So now, break out that area where you want your door. Now, come behind that piece of redstone dust where you counted the three from and grab out a redstone torch and place a redstone block on that. A redstone torch on that block, like this. So when you right-click this redstone dust to turn it into the cross, it's going into the block that the redstone torch is on. Now I place some blackstone bricks on top of the redstone torch with some redstone dust on it. And one more up and one more out. Like this. With redstone on both of them. Super duper simple. Now come one out. Again, place another piece of redstone dust. Grab a repeater. And replace that middle block with a repeater. Like that. Then come another four out with um, polished blackstone bricks. Or four to the side. One, two, three, four. Super, super simple. One, two, four. That. Now come two blocks in off of that four piece that we just built and two blocks to the side like that. Placing redstone on all of this like that. Then come one block in like this towards a wall. Place a piece of redstone there. Now this block right here, we want to replace it with a repeater on two text delay. So you want to click that once and it should look like that. Now you want to deactivate this all of this redstone by coming down with some levers and placing a lever under each piece of redstone dust and flicking it on. This could be different depending on how you make it. I listed the materials for my exact design with all of the redstone components, but of course yours might differ. Now you want to click on that redstone piece like this. You can see it deactivates the redstone because that's powered and it's um, 
like basically killing the redstone torch. Now we need to grab our pistons and then we're almost done. So grab out your pistons, place four in like this in two by two square directly under these blocks and then two facing like that on those four by four. Now place whatever sort of wall block you have in between those right there and then have a fully working door. Super simple. So this type of door is a vault door. So basically you walk in, so you walk into your base, you get your stuff and you walk out. And it's not got a T flip flop or anything like that attached to it because otherwise you'd run into a few problems with um, some more re like complicated red zoning things. But now you know how to build a super awesome, super secret redstone dust or redstone dot door. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.